Hi, today I'm going to show you how to install QSWAT on your Windows machine. So QSWAT is a plugin for QGIS and if you are interested in ArcGIS, so you can install ArcSWAT. So that is pretty simple. So before going to install this QSWAT, you need to have QSWAT or QGIS installed on your PC. So at first, I'm starting from the beginning. So go for downloading QGIS. So QGIS, if you search for QGIS, it is going to show you this link and click on that link and I'll give you the link in the description below. And depending on the time when you are watching this video and installing, so it will give you this latest version of standalone installer for QGIS. And you will see that that is the latest one, latest release but they have one version that is stable and long-term release so you can even use that one but since i'm using the other version which is 3.18 and i'm comfortable with that one so even if you are familiar with the previous version you can go back to all those version here you can found you can find this version there right you can click there or you can even go back and you can check there as well all release and then from here this link you can find all these previous versions okay so for my case you can go all the way to the bottom of this list and you can find the list based on your interest and familiarity with the software package so here so for my case i installed both this one as well so right now I'm familiar with this one 3.18.3 and 1 so my PC is 64 bit so I'm installing this one if your PC is 32 bit so you can install this one as well or I'm recommending you to install that 3.22 version and let me know if you have any problem while installing this software package so I have already downloaded this one and what you need okay let me just install that first and then I'll show you what other software package we need to install for QSWAT. So here it is. I have that QGIS. Here, let me just find that QGIS. This one, if I double click on that, and it is going to install. So I recommend you to install this package for this user or if you are going to use this PC for multiple people then you can even use for all users this is not a problem so I'm just agreeing everything and by default it's there I have this space remaining it is going to take this 1.86 so there won't be any problem okay so I'm gonna install only this QGIS not the other data set this will kill your space and I think it's not gonna take that much time. So when we'll have this installation finished, so we have to even download other required softwares, right? The QSWAT. So here you can see, I'll give you the link in the description below. This software is developed from University of Texas. It is basically Texas A&M University, and that's why it is called TAMU. Texas A&M University and here we have two versions this one is for 32 bit if you install that QGIS as 32 bit then you have to install this one otherwise for 64 bit you have to install this click on this and it will start downloading this way since I already have downloaded this one I don't need to download it twice because it may take time and here if you go back to the software package and you'll have this uh, QSWAT plus and at the same time I'll show you today how to install this QSWAT as well because this is the updated one it has integrated QSWAT it has integrated that editor everything in there so we'll see that we'll install both of them okay so first for ArcSWAT if you have ArcGIS desktop you can download this one for QSWAT if you click so it is going to show you this link as well same thing but you need to even install SWAT editor and you also need to install SWAT cup if you want to even calibrate the model but this software is basically a licensed version and it has a limited 
capacity for free version and you also need to install this SWOT check and SWOT output viewer if you want but we don't need this output viewer we only need QSWOT we only need this one this one this one and for the latest one for this all-in-one version so install or download this one as well so let's see what we have so it's still gonna download and install everything and extracting so I have this software here you can see what I have downloaded and extracted so here I have this QSWAT 3 and 64 version and then I also have this SWAT editor right I have SWAT check I have SWAT editor and then this one SWAT plus so this SWAT plus is basically all in one if you install so it is going to install everything it is going to install SWAT check it is going to install that editor and QSWAT as well so let's wait for a while and let's see if it's gonna finish right now okay we're done with this so we have QGIS right so let me just uh, show you that QGIS first it's uh, this one QGIS okay uh, Q QGIS and this one okay I'm just opening this and I'm gonna show you what is there and after installation of that QGIS you will see there is nothing but when we will install that QSWAT we will see the plugin is there but still we won't be able to access that one so we have to even activate that QSWAT or QSWAT plus because it will install but it will be listed in the installation list basically here in QS QGIS it is called plugin and here all plugin or additional packages or modules will be there manage and see here you won't see anything all installed you won't see any QSWAT anything right so these are the packages by default we already installed and not install you can see many thing it doesn't matter and then let's install our SWAT editor and Q okay QSWAT so which one is first there is no sequence you can even install the editor first or QSWAT whatever it is okay so I prefer to install this QSWAT this one 64 bit and okay double click on it and here is the trick and I prefer to install for me only okay and you can install for all user as well it doesn't matter so it's pretty quickly installing everything and then we'll have access to this see I'm done and at the same time let me just finish everything here and we're done with this and let's install the editor okay SWAT editor and here if you just click on the setup.exe it is going to finish pretty quickly and I'm just agreeing everything and it's gonna install to this just for me it is the recommended one so it's done I guess when it's done okay it's pretty simple software package so but it's pretty effective as well even by this time maybe you are familiar with hydrologic model like heck sms so it's another hydrologic model it's called soil water assessment tool and i'm going back to this checker okay swat checker i'm just installing this separately for the previous version this is also important and see if you have arc swat it will be there if you have q swat it will be there so i'm selecting the default directories and i think it's gonna finish pretty quickly and after this installation so we already installed this swat and editor and everything now now what do we have right we have that one swat plus so let's install everything all together and after this installation in the next uh, series of uh, tutorials what I'll demonstrate, I'll start developing a model for a watershed located in Texas, USA. And then I'll show you how to 
build a model using QSWAT and QSWAT plus. Okay, so this directory doesn't exist. It is asking to create. Okay, yes, let's create. And here for QSWAT C, SWAT plus, it has this capability to download this global data because we need that uh, soil information, we need that land use information, right? So for Texas and USA, we will have this data available from online. So I'm gonna install this too. But for, and I'll also show you for any other place what we have to do. We have to generate that input files, right? And I'll show you how to do that because it is the matter of land use and soil information and i already have some videos on that how to download this global soil map and the land use information so from that video you can even download and learn and we'll use those data for modifying and uh, generating the inputs for any other locations other than usa so this model is pretty accurate if you can set up this model in a way that represents the real world case but sometimes you need to have passions and you need to have some knowledge on hydrologic processes if you have idea on hey case ms i have videos on that several videos i already demonstrated how to set up a hey case ms model so i'll even try to use the same location to set up this model so that in future we can even compare the performance of these two models. So these two models are basically semi-automatic or semi, uh, uh, means a graded model or lumped model. It doesn't matter, it will have this performance, but their calculation scheme is a little bit different. So in HEC SMS, it assumes watershed as sub-basin, but in SWOT model, it has that hydrologic unit it is a little bit different based on soil and land use information it decides uh, which location will be a different hydrologic uh, unit and another location will be different so based on that hydrologic unit it is going to calculate the stream flow for you and it will make the soil water balance and then everything after doing every calculation and you can you can even go through the manual of this SWOT model then you'll learn the basics the equations the equations are pretty simple and because it makes the soil water balance between uh, past event and the present event and the future so that's that and see i'm going to install this one for me as well and it's gonna finish pretty quickly i hope so and then we'll open see it's already there qgis and we'll have access to this it's gonna finish pretty quickly and if i open qgis and if i open plugin see you may not have the access right now right because we have to open it again so i'm gonna click finish and let's open qgis once again qgis and let's see now we'll have access to this QSWAT and QSWAT Plus. So this is the installation procedure and here see plugins and then here manage and install plugins and hopefully we are gonna see this and here see the, but these are not activated right QSWAT if I click you'll see one option there you see it added and then if you just click on that SWAT Plus QSWAT Plus it will add another see as plus and i'm done so here if you want to even develop a model based on qswat we'll click on this one and in the next tutorial we'll see we'll generate a new project and we'll even see the other options are not available here unless you are done with your project generation right so when you'll generate your project it's gonna ask you for your dm data and other data so i'll show you everything from the beginning and I'll also show the same procedure for QSWAT and QSWAT Plus. So here is, this one is same, but when you'll open the editor, the editor looks a little bit different. So this is the updated one. We'll see both of them and we'll compare 
this results with my previously developed model on the same area by using heck sms so that is the end of this uh, tutorial and in my next tutorial series i'll start and you can replicate this process sometimes it happens that okay if you select a version of qgis that is not even compatible with uh, this qswat or qswat plus then maybe you have to find out which version is more the compatible for that 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 one okay so that's why i selected this uh, 3.18 version and you can even select the latest one it doesn't matter unless it is a long-term release so it will be fine for everyone so that's that and it's still if you have faced any problem uh, in installing this software package let me know and then i'll uh, try to give you the solution right away and okay thank you very much for watching and supporting my youtube channel so this is for today and hoping to develop other videos. Thanks.